Hi, I'm Saad, and I'll be uh, discussing some of our performances on uh, ratios such as return on assets, return on equity, and stock price. As you can see on our return on assets for year five, we uh, plan to get a 20%, and uh, we reached our goal by receiving a uh, achieving a 20% on our uh, return on assets and in year 6 we uh, plan to get 11% and we uh, achieved our goal and went nearly three times above it. Uh, we did this by maintaining a lower inventory and uh, keeping our costs and our assets at a minimal while increasing sales and continuing to have a higher a high total net income. For return on equity we uh, planned to reach 27% for year five, and uh, we got our, we reached our goal, we got 27%, and for year six, we planned to get 16%, and we surpassed our goal, and we got 40%. We did this by giving out dividends, buying back stock and bonds, we invested in CDs, we kept our shareholders' equity to as low as possible, and our accumulated earnings as well by giving issuing the dividends. And as a result, since our sales were high, we our return on equity increased significantly. For stock price, our uh, target for uh, year five was two dollars and ninety seven cents, and our actual stock price at the end of the year was four dollars and eighty nine cents. For year six, our target was four dollars and thirty six cents, and our uh, actual stock price that we got was seven dollars and fifty cents. As you can see we uh, surpassed our goal big time. Uh, we EPS um, our earnings uh, per share we uh, focused on increasing it and uh, we by achieving uh, our goals of total net income our total net income were for each year very very high and we were also buying back stock, so due to the amount that there were less shares, uh, this gave us a boost on uh, increasing our stock price. Hello everyone, my name is Fernando Vargas Jr. I am the Chief Operating Officer. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, market share and total net income. Now for year five, as you can see, we planned for 22% of the market, um, and we actually met it at the same 22%. Um, as far as market share, we went for a high quality, high featured product, uh, and we were interested in making uh, the most or the highest profit. So initially, we weren't we were necessarily concerned with market share. Um, for year six, as you can see. We planned for the same 22% market share, um, but in the end, we ended up with 18%. Again, that coincided with our initial strategy that we weren't necessarily concerned with market share, we were interested in the bottom line. And moving on, as you can see, our total net income for year five and six. We planned for a total net income for, years, for year five of uh, three, uh, 3.8 million. We ended up with 4.1 million. Uh, reason being was throughout the game we heavily invested in R&D and training and invested in our people. For year six, we initially planned for one, a little shy of two million, and we actually ended up with close to five million. Again, we attribute these high gains to research and development, training. Um, and just an overall strategy of selling our units at a, at a higher cost while still being competitive with everyone else in the market. Hi, my name is Judy. I'm Chief Marketing Officer, and I'll be going over the product price. Um, as you can see from our table by quarters, um, our prices have increased slightly throughout the quarters because we... Um, have a higher quality and having higher features from other people within the market. Our prices are also higher due to the fact that we need to cover our advertising expenses and we want to keep a profitable 
margin. Okay, same thing with year six, our prices have increased in order to keep our costs covered and still maintain a profitable, profitable um, margin. Okay, so next is our unit sales. As you can tell, um, these are plan and our actual. They're roughly about the same, so we forecasted our numbers in order to meet the demand of our consumers in order to, because our products have um, better quality and better features. So we have been able to cover our planned amount and our actual has been increasing throughout the quarters. Okay. And also for our advertising, uh, we slowly have been increasing. Each area has the same amount of advertising costs. Um, our advertising increased because of our, as again, our, we have better features, better quality, and we want to promote our, our product to our consumers. So we would have to increase our advertising in order to promote our new product. Hi, good evening. I'm the Global Human Resource Officer for Breakaway Incorporated, and I'll be talking to you guys about the salespeople here under our functional performance. As you can see, we started off with not as many salespeople as we had planned. Um, in addition to that, our company strategy, it should be noted, was innovation. So instead of employing a high number of salespeople, we decided to innovate by training them and spending ex extensive investments to train them with quality training because overall we felt like a smaller, more skilled sales force would be more beneficial in the future. Um, in year five, the variances between the numbers uh, of salespeople were planned for and the number of salespeople we actually employed was very small. However, you can see in year six down here that it jumps from 35.50 all the way up to 37.20 for our salaries levels. That's because our salespeople consistently overperformed in each of the quarters, and so we decided to reward them for their efforts. Um, this actually paid off in the end, and we project that it will continue to pay off because we are projecting a continued investment in training and development and really developing our current sales force. Commissions. Now I'll be talking about the commission rates that we selected. Um, as you can see, in year five and in year six, there are large variances in commission. Um, we wanted to focus on quality and not quantity. And um, therefore, we strive to create gainful incentives through our sales commissions. Uh, sales were constantly, like I said, above expectations. Uh, which necessitated these large increases. We basically, again, wanted to reward our employees for their efforts and constantly overachieving in the, in the categories of profit and sales. Hi, my name is Simon Gordisnik, and I'm the junior uh, financial officer at Breakaway. Uh, what we have here uh, are the variances that we experienced in year six on the, on the financial statements. And the crucial variance that led to our increased profitability was in gross profit. This, may, this mainly came from a lower UPC than what we initially planned for. Um, next, as our um, uh, previous commented, commented already on, the commissions were increased, so we could justify <coughs> our <coughs> higher uh, product prices and <coughs> To keep to give our sales force um, um, adequate uh, incentives to sell our product. Um, can go down. Um, in addition, uh, what led to our greatest success was increased R and D and total training expense, so we could have a good product and a trained sales force to sell that product. Uh, Furthermore, on the other expense, we see a large variation. This was mostly because we bought back more bonds on which we had to pay a higher premium. And we also experienced a high other expense because of liquidation of Sereno office in year six, quarter four. Um, 
Also, high variation was experienced on your CDs because initially we did not plan to buy many CDs, yet um, we had a higher total net income and we took advantage in year six to invest all that extra cash reserves into time certificates. Um, as explained, bond interest was also high in variation. That was because uh, we were able to reduce our interest payments by buying back bonds. Uh, mainly on the cash flow uh, variance, the, the number that stood out was sales to liquidators. That was mainly because uh, we liquidated our assets in Sereno in year six, quarter four. Um, not have mentioned, but we chose to liquidate our assets in Sereno because we were losing money increasingly. So we chose to cut our losses and to um, make this company profitable again, again at the end of year six. Um, on, the, on the financing expenditures, we increased our dividends paid. That was like our chief financial officer explained. We wanted to reduce our accumulated earnings to get a higher ROE, which was one of our main weighing factors uh, for breakaway. Uh, bonds we purchased, as mentioned, we bought back more bonds. And we had to pay a significant more amount of companies uh, for company stock, uh, which we paid for by buying back buying back bonds, and that was mainly because our stock price was higher than forecasted. And on the balance sheet, uh, another high variance was again time certificates of deposit. We chose to increase our profitability by buying back, by buying CDs, and our, we were able to reduce our inventory uh, to increase our profitability. So finally, uh, after we reviewed our results, we looked at where breakaway uh, stands in the future. Now, our main disadvantage was that we did not plant, uh, plan to build a plant in Sereno like company one and two achieved. Uh, we, we saw that because they had a plant in Sereno, um, they were able to increase their profits tremendously. Therefore, we had to keep neck and neck with them to stay in the game. Uh, in the future, we are planning to build a plant in Sereno. Now, this is for two reasons. Um, the exchange rate right now is very favorable, so any kind of investment in Sereno would be uh, of a much less of a cost than it would be two years ago. Um, currently, we finished not producing in not selling or producing our product in Sereno. Therefore, our future sales are going to meet our production capacity. Um, in the future, what we're planning also to do is maintain our high research and development expense, maintain our sales force at its current capacity, yet, like as mentioned, we almost cut our demand by 25% just because we closed the office in Sereno. Now, uh, as mentioned, our weighing factors were mostly on profitability, which were ROA, ROE, uh, total net income, and stock price. Uh, this action of building a plant in Sereno would bring back that profitability to where it was, for example, in for company one and two at the end of year six. Um, we plan to produce a higher end quality products. Eventually, we want to move up in quality three and feature three. Um, our plans are also <coughs> to, for, to forecast future trends. For example, um, what's going to happen with inflation? How is the GDP going to react in America and Sereno? All those trends we will incorporate and uh, predict how, it can, how they can benefit uh, breakaway. And of course, we need to keep track of what other competitors are doing so we can maintain profitable, profitable and we can maintain selling our high quality, high-end product at a high price.